Okay, welcome to the inaugural broadcast, if you will. Uh, Gaming with God, yours truly, grumpy old dude. Uh, this is Celasta by Tactical Adventures. It is a Dungeons and Dragons 5e rule set interpretation. Tactical Adventures is limited in this to uh, SRD rules, so you will not see everything from 5e in this game, but you will see a perfectly playable and good game. March 2nd, Tactical Adventures announced that they are releasing a Dungeon Maker. Think uh, the construction kit from Morrowind uh, by Bethesda. Uh, a lot of high hopes for me for that. Now, I have already created the characters. I've run them through the tutorial. I've been to the council, gotten the mission, and I've done the overnight in the end to level up. We are now ready to visit the merchant. I started here because there are things you can sell at the merchant off the get so that you're not cash Welcome poor. Welcome to Gorim's Emporium. And let me see your wares, Gorim. All right. You can sell that. You can sell these stupid candles. God, I hate candles. And we're going to sell the scroll of Revivify. Revivify is to raise a dead party member. My guys aren't dying. I'm going to get rid of these javelins. I want um, bows and that kind of thing. They're crossbows and such. All right, we're going to buy a couple four foods. Here we go. And before we go further, we're going to read our scrolls here, our, our manufacturing things. Uh, get the recipe for making cure wound scrolls. We want that in our repertoire. He doesn't have any. The cleric has scroll of cure wounds that will sell now. The other thing I do is I put all the um, crafting supplies with the wizard. I don't know why. I just do. Record wizard. Healing potion recipe. And magic missile recipe. There we go. Now we know how to craft those. Okay. Let's go back into here and sell well. stuff. I've already sold off the paladin. Now we'll go to the ranger. Sell that. Four more foods. That makes ten total. And we come to here. That's a duplicate. We can sell that. Another reviv revivify scroll. And we now have 14 foods there, so we're plenty on that. We're good. We come to here. Sell that stupid candle. Sell the ring. Sell the pearl. And sell that candle. And there we go. Now we're not cash poor anymore. Okay. So now we're going to come over here. And before we get very far, we get interrupted by the scavenger A lady. word, if you please. So famous already. I love it. You were in there too. Are you a member of the council? This game... I'm Annie Bagmorda, quartermaster of the Scavengers Guild. We don't have a seat in there, but they all know exploring the Badlands without us would be a bad idea. That's why you should stop by our headquarters downtown. You'll need our services, I'm sure. Is that, uh, compulsory? No, but you'll find our services useful. Everyone does. Did Lord Karen not tell you? No. He pretty much stuck to giving orders. Oh, right. Anyway, we offer plenty of help and advice to beginners like you. We are grown-ups, you know. Well, at least, most of us are. Huh? Of course you are. Well, good luck. This game is 100% lady or something. Scavengers, voice though. acted. I never knew if they were legit or not. Inviting beggars to the council. I'd rather visit the temple, honestly. So what do you think? Should we check out their headquarters? It's not far, but... I've had enough talking. Let's go and kill some monsters. If there's business to be done, we can't afford not to. The two sides of the coin of having it fully voice acted. First side is, is it really adds to immersion. You get the feeling uh, of a tabletop session. The downside is, because everything's voice acted, it's got to be played out for every possible iteration. 
and that limits the possible options that will be presented. Get this out of the way. This is the magic shop. Hello. What we're going to do here is we're going to buy up a bunch of ingredients that we want to have more of. Here you can see the inventory. You'll have a maximum of 10 of these on hand. He currently has 10, and we're going to buy them all. Along with these, 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 and these. There we go. And now, we are going to tell our uh, wizard to start crafting a magic missile scroll. Nobody else can do any crafting yet. Oops, wrong direction. Wrong direction. Turn around. Here we go. Come over here and see the scavenger lady. Ah, you came. You piqued our curiosity. So, what exactly do you have to offer? You don't know. This is the 5e rule set. When I played tabletop many years ago, at Ford Ord in the late 70s, very early 80s. Uh, would have been, in fact, would have been 1980, early 81. Uh, we played under 2E. What kind of help do you offer to people? Quite like different us? from what I Simple. started now, people with. People like you typically carry out missions for the Council in the marches, even in the Badlands. Sometimes far away, like Captain Merrin. Who's Captain Merrin? <laughs> you really must be new. She's one of yours. Senior Deputy of the Council. Anyway, you trek out to some old ruin in the Badlands, kill a bunch of orcs. Well, you're still a bit green, so let's say goblins. Ow! You're hurting our feelings. Orcs will hurt much more than your feelings, believe me. And stop interrupting, it's rude. So let's right. say you find yourself with a whole load of rusty swords, leather armor, Shields, too much for you to log back here. Oh, so we're puny as well as green. Thank you so much. So instead, you brave heroes just clear the place of monsters and draw us a nice clean map. Then we take our carts and pick up every piece of junk. We bring it back, we sell it, and we split the profits with you. We move the stuff, you go off to kill more bad things, everybody wins. For a percentage, of course. What? You could never carry it all anyway. Not in your little backpacks. Okay, so that's what they do. Well, thank you. <clears throat> I guess that's it for us. Fine. Feel free to visit us anytime. Or drop into any scavenger camp. Now, once you've played others? through this, anywhere we can set, you by want the way, to skip if these dialogues and hit the space bar. And get the out right. That the okay. And I hope it will, friend. I guess we'll... Sure. Here we go. Now, these chests are interactable. This one, you can store goodies in. This one's locked. I've never successfully picked it at second level, so I'm going to wait. Just so you can store goodies in there. Why is he carrying... Oh, at the magic shop. He was the character in the lead, so he got all the ingredients that we bought. Here we go. Okay. Now we're going to head out of town. We've been tasked with going to Kirlam and finding out why Captain Hendricks hasn't sent a report back in for the last three weeks. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to head to Kirlam. Here's the fast travel map. It's not exactly fast travel. Okay, we have three paces, normal, fast, and slow. The faster you go, the less time it takes, but the more likely you are to have unplanned encounters. I'm going to go normal. I am going to change this. I'm going to be interrupted when the crafting is done. Okay, and here's what that means. Once we start traveling, it would just move us through the whole thing without giving us an opportunity to interact until there's an encounter or we reach our destination. By saying interrupt when the crafting is done. Oh, here's a 
planned encounter. We're all surprised. So the bad guys, they get to uh, they get to execute their first maneuver without our interrupting or interfering with them. They get first go. However, like I said, this is a planned encounter. These are not very confident bad guys. The only thing they do with their free turn is move closer to us to make it easier for us to kill them. And that's really all they accomplish. Here he comes. Let me come down here where you can just slaughter me. There. Hello. And we'll come away from where we were under cover over here, an elevated position behind rocks. It could have shot at you with bows. Instead, we'll run across this open ground. Into the light. So you can see me better. Okay, our cleric. Yeah. I take Smack. no prisoners. And this is our wizard. Okay. We took Arcane Shocker. Uh, Arcanus. Shock Arcanus for the type of mage. The reason for that is it gives them an extra boost to their attack spell. So instead of having three missiles in her magic missile, she'll have four. Which will kill this guy, probably. Yep. And then the paladin. You would do slams him. And the ranger. Ooh. You only hit for five? That was weak. Oh, then you missed with your... Oh. Not good. Okay, the Paladin I took defensive. That way he can use his shield to help defend players that are next to him. He can help block. Alright, the Cleric. Smack. And magic missile time again. One there. And three there. Should kill them both. Yep, it did. That I like. So now all the incompetent bad guys are dead. And we loot all their crap. And the paladin is now encumbered. He carried 114 pounds before he's encumbered. He's carrying 165. He does not have a missile weapon. Right now, neither does our wizard. This is the scroll of magic missile. Goes there. Okay. He needs to shuck another 47 pounds. There was a good chunk of it. Another good chunk. Still nine pounds. Here we go. And our ranger is now one pound away from being encumbered. <laughs> That's all right. Not encumbered. Okay, now we hit the campfire. Do what's called a long rest. That lets them rest completely. Magic missile scrolls done. So we click on the wizard crafting and we're going to start another one. Resume the march. Don't tell him to resume. It'll sit there and wait for us to tell it to. Because we told it to interrupt. And over here, so they found an apple tree green. Ten food rations. That was nice. Wanda finished another scroll. Good, good. Let's do another one then. Let's just do a whole crap load of those. And resume again. Oh, she got another one done. Yay! Let's do another one.
presume. <laughs> and now we're at Carolam. Um, now we're at what's left of Carolam. Appears to be a burning hulk at this point. Now I don't have a rogue in the party. When I made the ranger, uh, when I chose his history, I made him a low life, which gives him proficiency with thieves tools, cut purse, and so stuff that's like KLM. that. So We're almost it's kind there. of a shady it's just ranger. Up the hill. It's a little too quiet, don't you think? All right. Now we're going to start up the hill here. And we gotta do something here. We gave the paladin a crossbow, but we didn't give him any crossbow bolts. There we go. Why it starts your wizard with one arrow, I do not know. Why it gives your cleric he starts with a crossbow arrows. I do not know. Okay, but it does. All right, now we're going to go into sneak mode here. And the reason for that. Oh, what's that smell? Soon enough, you're going to encounter targets. Here we go. Three of them are ready to go. That goblin there should die a horrible death. Yep, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> Goblins deserve to die. Okay, she will ready a cantrip if an enemy should move into her area. Or she can shoot at him he, or throw a spell at him, he, which she will. And he will do the same thing, stand ready with his crossbow. In case something presents itself as a target. And nothing did. So, Paladin will move up here. Doesn't see any targets. So he readies for a ranged attack. Ranger says same thing. He'll ready for a ranged attack. Wizard will stand ready to throw a ranged kit range spell. Cleric. We can hear the goblins raising hell. I haven't found him yet. Beyond the two that we've already killed. Of course you've been detected. 
Here they come. Ooh, there's another dead one. <laughs> See, it's ready to throw another spell. <laughs> Blew him up. Oh, and he missed. Spirit our girl. You bastard. And then you missed? The hell is your problem? See him from his ankle. See him now. Nobody has your skills. Bravo. <laughs> okay, these two are down come? here. Some hole in the mountain, I guess. They'll loot that stuff from there. Okay, so they looted the stuff down below. These guys will loot the stuff from up above. There's all that good stuff looted. Oh, look at these footprints. Where did those goblins come from? Wonder if we should follow these footprints and find out. Now let's see here. First of all, let's take a look at 16 pounds too much. He can only take a pound, so we go buy that. He can take 16. God oh, damn, I didn't sell his candle. Oh well. Take 16, so. 129, that's 10. 13. 16. <laughs> Carry 114 is a 113 one. Okay, let's follow the footprints down here and see if this is just maybe where the goblins came from. Lair of filth. This must be the place, huh? Crawling through the dirt. Nothing new here. Damn it stinks! We should be cautious from now on. Okay. That's a warning, guys, to slow down and get sneaky. Watch for these things up here, cages. Those are traps that the bad guys could release to slam down and contain us. Never had the goblins release them, but I imagine they could. Oh, there's a goblin up there. Shoot something. All right, we'll let it go. More caution next time. Hit him. Oh, 
Oh, look at there. There's one in there. Let's see. He's got four hit points left. We'll hit him with one. Ah, hell. Forget that. I can't hit that one, too. Oh, she'll do this. Um, Firebolt. That doesn't count as a spell throw. It's a cantrip, so you don't have a limited number of those. Oh, good. Killing blow. Here's the other one. Let's see. Got them both. <laughs> okay. Our ranger dude here. Go up there and get this. Oops. Map running away on me there. Oh hell, I got everybody's moving cautious still. That's uncautious. Speed things up. Climb around and gather all the goodies. Adventuring is just like real life. Being cash poor sucks. Hello, pup. Our dog is sitting at my feet. Actually, he's, he likes to lay on my feet. That way I can't move without him knowing about it. Doing everything he can to make it so I don't. Because he's only 19, 18 pounds, 19 pounds. Oh. Get your buddy back together again. No, oh, somebody's still. There we go. All right. Now yeah, he's considerably overweight there. He he still take fourteen pounds. That was ten. Thirteen. School of sleep goes to the mage. Cure wounds goes to the cleric. Still needs to shed sixteen, seventeen pounds. He can't take it. 
She can take seven is all. He can take one. Looks like I'm just going to be a little bit encumbered here. Because I'm too cheap to pay the scavengers off. So. I don't like it either. We are going to go back to town. Sell this stuff. And then come back. But before we do that, I want to replace the crossbows that are being used with bows and arrows. get arrows to be able to split up and give everybody arrows. Not very many. Give him six. Give her eight. He's got that. Okay. So, there they are. Now we go back to town. Same, same. Go. I'll make sure she's crafting the scroll. Yep, she is. Speaking of which. See, they're doing stuff on the road, looking for food through the, as they travel through the wilds. Peter's playing the flute. Yay, Peter. Music's always entertaining. Make another scroll. Can't have enough magic missile scrolls. Now we come into town. the transition scene here. Little pro tips down here in the lower left corner. Excuse me. Here we go. Now we come over here to where the store is. Okay. Where's the arrows? Crossbow bolts. 
And... Damn, how much food do we have? There's 5, 10, 15, This is why. Here we go. Just carrying an insane amount of food. Shit's heavy. Okay, we're gonna come over here to the magic shop. Hello. Show me what you got. I'm gonna buy it up again. Here we go. And then we are going to go back to Care Lamb. However, for this session, I'm going to stop us here. And the reason for that is. I want to check my file sizes and the upload times and all that kind of stuff. So that'll be our first session. We've started our journey. We have brought back stuff to make profit. And now we are going back out again. When we come back, we'll pick up where we left off and continue to march. I hope uh, you some, found some enjoyment out of this. And we'll return uh, as we continue our adventures in Salasa. Uh, we'll be exploring some other games as well, Yubo, uh, a few others. Might even boot up some old-time games, uh, the, some games that I grew up on. Silent Service 2, Masters of Orion, Masters of Orion 2. Uh, we'll see what we can do. In the meantime, I hope you all have fun, enjoy, take care of yourselves, stop back, leave comments down below, subscribe if you care to, whatever, just stay the hell off my lawn. Thanks, bye.